Hey, look at that. We are live. Good mates. Uh, the sun is out. It's Monday morning. It's time to get back at it and do great things today. Really all this week, we're going to talk about is your business working for you or are you working for the business? Mm. Got some great comments on that across social media last night. If that resonates with you or you're not really sure how to answer that question, then you are in the right place. Stick around. Stay tuned. We'll talk it out in just a second. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Mm, yeah, good full cup of coffee this morning. Hope you have yours because it's time to get to work. My name is Tom and this is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. This week we're talking about, it's right there in the bug, does your business work for you or do you work for the business? Mm, that's a tough question, but we're going to try and unpack that in only Five short episodes of roughly seven minutes each. So about 35 minutes. I don't know if we can do it, but we'll give it a shot. Hey, when you get here, do as Catherine has done already. Leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning. Let's do this. Whatever feels right to you sounds great to me. Just leave that in the comments. Let me know that you were here. <clears throat> All right. So let's unpack this idea quickly because... This is one of those things that I could probably talk about for a really long time, but I just don't have a really long time. So I just kind of have to go with what I've got. Today, I want to, uh, to, to talk about why we started a business in the first place, or we're thinking about starting a business. Why is it a good idea to start a business? Why, 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 why? Hey, Joe, good morning. Good to see you here this morning. Why is this the right thing to do? Or why did we do it? So those <laughs> might be two different questions. So let's begin with why most people say they start a business. I talked to three times 50, whatever that is, hundreds of uh, new and aspiring small business owners every year. And I try to start every conversation, not everyone works out this way, but I try to start most of those conversations with, well, why do you, why did you start the business? What do you want the business to do for you? And you might've thought I asked them for the square root of pi. I mean, most of them are like, um, I don't know what you're talking about. A little dig a little bit further into that. And a lot of them will say, well, I want to be able to quit my job. I hate my boss. I need some extra money. Uh, oh yeah, money. Yeah, to make money, right? That's the right answer? To make a bunch of money? No, no, that's not the right answer. <laughs> but the, the reality is you can have a different reason than I do. Hmm. But if you don't know what that is, then it makes it really hard to measure how well you're doing if you're making any progress, whether you ever reach your goal or not. Yeah, no, that's pi. Pi is 3.1415. Now figure out the square root of pi. Joe's being a smarty this morning. All right. Um, if we don't know where we're going, then it's hard to tell if we ever got there. So one of the first things that I always encourage people to do, especially if, if you got here this morning uh, or this afternoon or evening, whenever you're watching or listening, because of some of the, the posts and shares that got put out over the weekend. If you're frustrated, if you're not getting the results you want, if you're tired and like, man, I just don't know if I can keep doing this. This is one of the reasons why. Because when we start, we don't have a clear understanding of what we're trying to get to. And, and sometimes, sometimes I'll ask that question of new business owners and I'll get a, an answer. That's a very clear answer, but it's just completely unrealistic. 
So we have to have a clear understanding of where we're trying to go, one that is realistic. And you guys know me, I'm not necessarily a big advocate of that word, but you're not going to go from zero to billions this year. You might make a, take a big bite out of it, but it's process and progress, right? So we have to start by understanding why we started it and then use that every one of those mornings where you get up and you look in the mirror and you're like, ugh, I just don't know if I can keep doing this or not. This is what you write. You get your look. <coughs> See? <coughs> Y'all got me excited about it. <clears throat> Sorry. This is where you get your little whiteboard marker. You write this up in the top corner of the mirror and says, this is why I'm doing this. Good friend of mine, uh, Eric War, he says, your why should make you cry. I don't know if I go that far or not, but it definitely should move you to act. All right. So the, the, the first building block of answering this question, does your business work for you or do you work for the business? lies in understanding why you even started the business. So homework for today, man, we're already up to homework. Why'd you start the business? What do you want it to do for you? Man, <laughs> those are great questions. Have I heard those somewhere before. Uh, look, I mean, it's easy to have a skill, something that you can monetize, get frustrated with the, the boss, the owner, the company where you're working. It's like, man, I could do this. Better, faster, cheaper. They, I, why, why am I helping them build their uh, empire when I could be building my own? Which actually is a really good, I, I do agree with that. But there's, but that's just the seed. There's all this other stuff around it that's got to go along with it. So it's not just the ability. Hey, Glenda, good morning. I'm so happy to see you here. It's not just the ability, um, but it, it, it's all the other things that go along with it. Those are the other four building blocks we're going to talk about as we go through the week about how to make your business work for you. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about what work really is. And if you want to get, uh, I'll put, I'll go ahead and put something out this morning. So watch on, uh, be on the lookout on Instagram and or LinkedIn. That's where these two will show up about what is work. And uh, be interested to hear what your thoughts are on that. What is work? Because when we talk about your business working for you, I guess first we have to understand what work is. So today, your but your homework for today. Why did you start the business? What do you want the business to do for you? Be able to describe that in a sentence or two. If you're really brave, come back here, leave it in the comments, uh, direct message it to me, email it to me. Tom at TomRigsby.com. Whatever makes you feel good. But I would love it if you would do that. All right. That's it for today. You've got your homework for today. One more thing before you go right underneath the video or the audio, depending on where you're watching or listening. There's a button that says share. I want you to click on that button right now. It's not going to, it won't stop the video or anything. Just click on share and share this out with your network or at least the person you've been thinking about while you've been listening to me talk that like, man, so-and-so really needs to hear this. Well, doggone it, share it with them so they can hear it. <laughs> all right. I'm so happy that all of you were here this morning. Don't forget those heart stars, thumbs up, likes, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. If you got any value today, throw one, one or two or three or four, however many you feel good about on the, on the old video. I'll be back again tomorrow and we'll continue this conversation about how to make your business work for you. Let's see. Joe said necessity is a component. Purpose is a life. I like that. That's good, Joe. All right. That's it. You guys have a great Monday. Talk to you again in the morning. Oops. Now it's Oh, hey.
one more thing before you go, since there's more of you out there watching than have commented, I'm going to check, I'm, I'm going to check and see who you are. Go ahead and leave a comment. Say good morning. Make me come look, look you up.